In this video, I'm going to talk about thyroid hormone control. The first player in this mechanism is the hypothalamus. And it sits just in the middle of the brain like this. But it's right in the very center. And so I drew it out a little larger here. So here's the hypothalamus up, up here. And hanging down from it is the pituitary. This is a gland that sits within the base of the brain. So this side is the posterior pituitary. And this side is the anterior pituitary, and we'll be looking at the anterior pituitary. Now the anterior pituitary is interesting in that it has a portal vein system. So a portal vein is a vein that goes from one capillary bed to another. And this one we call the hypophysial portal. Hypophysis is another name for the pituitary. Now the way this works is that a neuron in the paraventricular nucleus releases a hormone we call TRH. And this releases TRH into the portal vein. TRH stands for thyrotropin releasing hormone. Now the TRH travels down the portal vein and then diffuses into the anterior pituitary. And there's a bunch of endocrine cells down here known as thyrotrope cells. And in response to the TRH, they produce another hormone. and they release this hormone into the systemic circulation. So this is the bloodstream throughout the whole body. This hormone that they release is called TSH. TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. Now let's have a look at the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland sits in the neck just here. And I'll draw this up in a bit larger detail. I'll add in a little extra anatomy, but it's not that important for the function. Down here, sitting behind the thyroid gland, is the trachea. And this little white band I've drawn in here is the cricoid cartilage, and the thyroid gland sits just below it. So this thyroid gland is an H-shaped structure, and it receives the TSH from the bloodstream. Now in response to TSH, the thyroid releases T3, and T4, which are known as thyroid hormones. 
and these get released back into the blood. Now from the blood, they go into tissues all over the body. And they have many effects, but their main effect is to increase the metabolic rate throughout the body, so you'll use more energy per unit time. Now one last thing, T4 is also known as thyroxine. And this is a more prevalent hormone than T3, but it's weaker. T3 is known as triiodothyronine, and it's scarcer, but it's about four times more potent. But when the body needs to increase its metabolic rate, it can convert T4 into T3 and therefore have a larger effect. And that's thyroid hormone control.